What's going on, guys? This is your boy, Tig, Pacho with Mike, with Straight No Chases Daily. <sighs> Hope you have a good morning. Right now, this day, um, yesterday was a rainy day, but today is a sunny day. So I hope you have a good day. You know, sometimes people wake up with some little headaches and stuff like that. But, you know, pop yourself up and get remember, yeah, some of y'all don't want to go to work. But remember, bills don't take a vacation. You want that stuff, you got to do it. That's a part of being an adult. So, enough waffle. Let's get into today's video. So, today's video is about... Um, and, I, and something, again... There's something that I have experienced myself. I experienced myself. I've seen this, and it does, you know, <sighs> makes you wonder and 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 make you choose yourself. Because when I do these videos, some of these things, some not all, some of these things I've done myself, and I will fess up to it because I wanted a different outcome. I wanted to do this, but you know, they always say, you know insane is trying to have to do the same thing over and expect a different outcome so some of this was just that you see the right on the wall or it's a new experience and you like it and you just don't want to change you want it to work so hard but if you don't put in the work you don't get it as the old saying goes faith without work ain't gonna get you nowhere you can have all the faith you want but you gotta put in that work too as well so in this video we're gonna listen to uh I wish I wanted to do this react to this video a long time ago, but I'm gonna react to the, the video now. Like I said, I do the audio stuff because uh, for anybody watching lately, like I said, I do the audio stuff because one is easier to um oh and traffic is crazy out there. Ah, I gotta join the join the rat race. But um it's easier this way because the whole, you know, copyright strike, all this stuff. And I got a problem, do, you know, thinking that because some of these videos are not, um, some of these videos I react to are like legitimate, like the paternity court stuff and all that stuff. I've been hit with a, not a strike, but I've been like, you can't use this, even though I use it in limited capacity. So it's just better just do it this way. You're hearing audio. And again, like I said, I am not going on TikTok for crazy stuff. So you guys can go, um, you know, really, Lord, people, human beings, you, there's no road and this person just pass on the edge. Anyway, um, again, t I'm not going on TikTok and I'm going on Twitter and all that stuff. Anyway, to the video. So... This is a, like I said, a situation I've been in as well, too, when I had when my ex fiance. I've never, I've come three times in my, I have three times in my life, I have taken a woman, like, dead, dead serious. Like, I've, I've taken my relationship seriously, but when I'm talking about serious, something dead, dead serious. I'm talking about a girl that has been, that I was in, um, that saved me from my first, my second girlfriend, and saved me from my first girlfriend. And I ain't she ain't saved me, but she brought me back to the realm of there are people out there to that because there's only one time in my life I I kind of you could say hated women when I hated women because of um, uh, and the one time I hated oh what oh wow there's a lot of trash on the road holy crap. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, sorry, there's just like a lot of trash on the road with the other accidents, so it's like I gotta watch myself driving here. Um, yeah, this ain't this is like concrete. Holy crap. Okay, I don't know what the hell happened. <clears throat> but, anyway, sorry about that. Um, that. I wanted to uh, propose that to that young lady, but what happened was we, I graduated a little earlier than her, and things did things was not pressure. She wanted to go back home and stuff like that. Long story short, I didn't force her. I made a told her to make a decision. She asked me if I want to stay with her. I said, "Look, what's the best choice for you?" And she she went back home. So I'm not. I don't feel bad about that. Then I did have my I had my ex fiance. I had 
you the first person I really did propose to. And that was like, oh, okay, this is great, blah, blah, blah. And then we, we had broken up once, and then we had got back together and gave a second chance because of, because I said, this is the first woman I really proposed to, I'm thinking whatever. And then we broke up again, and a little, and it's just, it was eight years of just on, of, of just two on and offs, really. But it was annoying, and it goes into what this video is. I found, I basically broke it off because it's like, you're not here for something in your childhood past. I don't know what it is. I don't know why you like to turn and into a mountain, an ant hill into a mountain. I don't know why you like the drama. I hate drama. And she just likes doing it. It was just, again, she was a professional person. So she's not no ghetto person or whatever, even though she have a little tendencies of it. And I'm, to be honest, because again, I, I am never comfortable saying the N word like that. That's why I'm saying the N word. But if I say it, I say it because it's, because it's what a person is. I never use the term in damn it, and stuff like that. And, you know, she cursed more than me and everything. But anyway, that's, uh, that's for the end of the day. And of course, the one I'm at right now where I'm married and, you know, she has, she is a little, she has a better demeanor, very, um, for inside and outside. No, I'm not saying it's perfect. I get her nerves a little bit. She get her minds a little bit. Not perfect, but you know we made we made the sacrifices for each other. Okay. But my point is, I live through this part here with the with my ex fiance Ray. She just cannot. She just love drama. She love chaos. A lot of women do. It's, that's what I like. It's like, why do you like this drama? Why do you like this chaos? Things are going great. Why mess things up? And there's a lot of men out there who sacrifice to just stay in this because they think it is the right relationship, but it sometimes it's not. So I'm gonna play this video right here on this lady who who's a therapist, and she had to um a black therapist as well, and she's being real with her client because you know trying to be a nice person blah 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 and of course you want to make money but you just know sometimes this is good not gonna work but you know it is what it is so let's get into this so i wanted to share this with you all and i'm probably gonna catch some heat for it but i decided to go ahead and be open about it so there's a couple that i helped a couple of months back in regards to the relationship right mm. and it i knew that it wasn't gonna work I knew it wasn't going to work, but I couldn't tell them that it wasn't going to work. I just had to do whatever I could, give them as many exercises to practice, to utilize in the relationship, to implement, to see if it could work. But I knew deep down in my heart that it probably wasn't going to work, right? Mm. And I'm only... Interesting, interesting point she just said right there about her helping a couple out, right? Maybe she's a relationship coach. Not maybe, I've seen her talk in other, I think I've reacted to another video of this chick. But guys, quick thought that just came to mind. As a therapist or a marriage therapist or couple, I wonder, are you allowed to say to a couple, there's no way of saving this relationship? I'm not talking about after they've tried numerous times. I'm talking about they walk in and you can tell this is not gonna work. Are you allowed to say that? I understand that they have to make money and probably benefits them financially to help them regardless. It wouldn't be the best business choice to make. But are you allowed to say that? And how many couples would actually take that advice? Like we saw a professional and they told us, don't even try to work this shit out. You guys are screwed. Yeah. That's interesting. Comment down below. I'm I curious. want to know Let's too. I would want to know too. I know a lot of times women feel like they can do no wrong. Mm. Uh, and the crazy thing about it is the man is in an outstanding relationship now. Mm. And the woman is not. She's suffering. She's going through it. So she reached out to me, and this is a story I want to tell you about. So she goes, Kitty, I did everything that you told me to do, blah, 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 blah. And mind you, I've talked to this. And I will say this too. <clears throat> That's why I was saying that I've been to that with my ex fiance. I was like, it's like, it felt like. No matter what I did, I couldn't make this chick happy. I tried it, you know. And and when I'm sacrificing my happiness for somebody else like that, I can't. I, I, I was mentally drained or physically drained. I just couldn't do it. It's annoying as hell. <clears throat> I mean, other than, <clears throat> excuse me. Other than I'm doing all this good stuff that a guy should do. 
And I'm just saying on the average that a guy should do. I'm not trying to big myself up. A guy should do. Plus, going an extra mile to do this, a little extra that, a little extra help you out there, do stuff. Like there was one night and she said she never do it. I, I'm a guy who loves natural hair. And it's one time she had, uh, she had uh, micro braids in her hair. And I came over. <clears throat> it was about 9 o'clock. No, it was no, it was 8 o'clock. <clears throat> And she needed to take those micro braids out and she was just first tired. I'm like, oh, I don't want to. Uh, and she had to go to work, which is a professional job, like I said. And she's like, she wasn't going to say, I was going to go work with a, with a half hole. I'm like, what are you talking about? I sit there and took those micro braids, help her out until it was like 2, 3.30 in the morning. 2, no, 2, two, two o'clock or 2.30 in the morning. I mean, yeah, it was the morning because I was like, I ain't going to get no sleep. I got to go work in the morning. Like. I go extra mile in most cases. Still didn't make her that happy. The ring, the whole nine yards and all that stuff. But see that a guy followed and tried to do his best. And you see he's in a new relationship. And the therapist said, yeah. And he's doing well in that relationship because the woman was the pain in the butt. And in most cases, sometimes they're not the right people mixing together. And I, I, I'll say that. That part, I, I am into too this man already he's reached out to me and everything that i taught them everything i taught them utilize the implant he's doing it now in the relationship that he is in good that was just the wrong woman and i'm sorry baby True. if you see this video i know i've already told you you were just not the woman so she yeah. asked me kitty what did i do wrong and i said do you want me to be wrong with you and she said yes okay so i told her okay you had this princess syndrome where you felt mm. like it always had to be me, 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 and everything that I said went. And that if I was not right, he was not going to be happy. You belittled him, mm -hmm. you emasculated him. Mm -hmm. I said, you didn't watch your tone. You reacted before you responded. You didn't take time mm. to comprehend what it was that he was saying. Mm. And he heard you nagging instead of actually listening. You waited to play that number plus one game. Okay, this is a number of things that you have done to me that he's telling you. And then you say, well, this is a number of things that you have done to me plus one. Mm -hmm. You had a warped mindset to where you believe that, hey, it's going good right now. And I need a little bit of attention. So bad attention is better than no attention. Instead See? of understanding yeah, that now you chaos. are transitioning into a healthier space. So there's going to be peace. It is going to be serene. But you didn't know how to adapt to peace and serenity because of your chaos from your childhood and your mm. past traumas. Mm -hmm. You brought those into this relationship and you blamed him for the mistakes of your partner. I right. asked her, do you want me to continue? Because the list can go on. And everything that I told you to do, as you're saying you did it, you, you did. did not. No. What did she say? You went back to what it is that you knew. And she said, well, Kitty, can I get him back? You can't get him no. back. You lost him, and you should not be worrying about getting a partner back until you fix yourself. And the only way to fix yourself, as I always say, ladies, is to be accountable for your shit. Exactly. And I understand. Good luck. It sucks when they move on. Yeah. But I'm glad that he moved on because he was ready. Mm-hmm. Hendrick. Ready, ready for a new Silverado or Tahoe but can't find the one you want? Rick Hendrick City Chevrolet can help. It was the right time for him and you were the wrong person. <sighs> Music to my ears, right? And I'm not talking about the the, 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 the chick that's struggling. I mean, that, that's kind of nice too, right? That she was forced to drink coffee. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. I'm talking about the man who found somebody who appreciated him, man. That's good. As always, the internet reacted. People had a lot to say about this topic. Let's check out a few of these comments and see yeah. what people have to say. First comment here says, listen to respond is the quickest way to getting dude one foot out the door. door. Yeah. And someone else responded to that guy and said, that's why I stick to one point. I stop talking if they don't acknowledge it. But let's be honest, they will do this for days of misery to be right. Yeah. Damn, that is so true. Women operate better in chaos than men do. Even though they're more expressive uh, about, about the difficulty of like bad tension, and chaos in relationships, they, they can really thrive in that environment, right? Because they love drama and love, many, yes. many of other things. They've been convinced that an emotional roller coaster is the best thing to have. That's also why they don't give in and want to be accountable is because they, think they can thrive longer in chaos. I've yeah. noticed this a lot of times, which is why 
A woman would be able to go days and days on end without saying something, admitting that she's wrong. They like that shit. I don't. And a lot of them are damaged, which is I why they do, do. not Next like comment that. from another person says, my wife could always articulate, explain her actions to make herself believe she was right. So there's no need yeah. to apologize. Another person here says, I went to counseling because my wife thought it was all my fault. And the counselor wanted to talk to her, but she didn't want to so go. Listen. Divorce now. Uh, some of these women know that it's all their fault. Yeah. They know. They just want out of the marriage and relationship. They don't want yep. counsel. Another guy added to that thread and said, in the back of their mind, they know they do wrong because they're wired to manipulate the situation. And yeah. the last comment here reads, had the same situation, bro. Happily divorced now, but dating is effed up too. Yeah. Now, after one marriage, yeah. there's no way I would... Um, repeat something like a divorce again. We've got another person here who says, when one wants peace and the other is addicted to chaos, the relationship will, will never fail. Work. It will fail. That's very yeah, true. That's true. Um, next comment here says, I warned mine for years that therapy wasn't going to go the way she thinks it's going to go. Spoiler alert, I was right. And then another guy responded back to him and says, man, I had to ask my baby mama how often she goes to therapy and she did not answer until I asked the third time. And at that moment, I knew. Yeah, this happens way too often. I've been in a personal situation. Well, I was yeah. dating this one chick, man. I remember she did something in the relationship that I was like, yo, that's not healthy. You, sh you shouldn't react in that way. Right? She had like a temper issue, anger issue. And I didn't argue with her, I would just leave. But she was the type to like get, start, you know, acting crazy. And I, I, I wouldn't sit around and try to calm her down. I'll just leave. And she swore that, oh, I should be allowed to express myself. And it wasn't until she had a therapist who told her that's not a healthy way to react to conflict that she finally believed. So I, I know this is true for a lot of people. But a woman here who says, amen, I looked in the mirror one day and realized I was the problem. Wow. Yeah, accountability. Nice. God saved me. Woman who drinks coffee. Like my coffee, like I like my women. Finally, last few comments here from a guy says, my wife wanted to go to counseling, so we did. As usual, the counselor thought it was me. But she would tell me to do this, and my wife would say he does. Then after saying several different things for me to do, my wife saying he does that, the counselor asked her what I did that kept her so angry. Only thing she could come up with was she had to tell me to take out the trash. The counselor's jaw hit the floor. So she started giving my wife things to do to help our relationship. The next week when it was time for counseling, I asked if she was ready to go. She said, no, I'm getting tired of getting homework. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I appreciate you guys. As always, leave your comments down below. Till next time. Funny how that works, all right? And I've said this before, I'll say it again. The number one, I know y'all all like Kevin Samuels and, uh, and stuff, like Andrew Tatum and everything. But like the lady said in the video, and that's it. The number one thing that's kryptonite to women is accountability. Be accountable for what you is. That's what I do. And yes, it, does it suck that this stuff happens like that? It does. But you got to do that, man. You, you got to. It's just, you know, something you got to do. So I'm telling you, man. Again, I live through it with one of my fiance. I understand it, and it sucks. It literally does suck. But object that the headache was not worth all of that. Or the, 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 the juice ain't worth the, the juice ain't worth the squeeze, as they all say. Nah. And I shout I shout outs to my wife, cause you know, I was a little bit because I, I didn't have no trauma or nothing like that in, a, in my past like that. And and it got but she wanted to make sure everything was good. So I was against premarital counsel counsel. As we came back from St. Thomas on a trip. We went to that, and we and you know first couple of sessions it felt and eh, nothing, like but the last session did brought out some stuff from me and her, and I'm like, okay, we get that. So we did that. Plus, also we did another counseling session again with our pastor, who the church we go to. So I would say, yeah, have a premarital counsel before you go get before you get married or you get engaged, guys, because and that was before she, and the premarital counsel was before we get engaged before we got engaged to see certain things and try to figure things out I think shout outs to her not being beautiful not only just being beautiful and intelligent that's one of the reasons I love her but I think 
people should do it. Yeah, it's you're spending money. We spend about we, we split the bill, and that's another thing. We split the bill. It was ninety dollars, so it's forty five, forty five. We split the bill. We went to the thing. That's what you sh we should do, and, th and and it should do. But I think you should do two, uh, the two things I could say before you gain an engagement or whatever. Yes, go have a pre marital consultation to see anything abroad or have a third party out there. Be a little leery, guys, because most most counselors are women women centric to the side. Like you just heard what the guy said just a while ago, so be careful of that. Two, and also. Now, my wife would say be celibate, and we were celibate, so I'm not going to knock that part, but also get tested, both y'all, get tested, it'd be less headache and stuff, too much crap is going on now these days, and people having, it's so weird that people, with, oh, protection, protection against a kid, yeah, a kid is a kid, but I don't want no STDs and none of that stuff, that's what you should be protecting yourself of. So with that said, this is your boy Take for um, again. I think it's uh, Street No Chases Daily. Uh, STD. All right. Remember, people are stupid. Individual is smart. Be that smart individual. Peace out.